Hi, my name is Hala Ezzedine, and this is called A Winter's Miracle. Cold winter's day. The snow is freshly falling. The sun is barely shining through the clouds. Snow has covered everything in fluff. I look at my bedroom window, dreading the day. It's a typical winter's day, cold and gloomy like no other. But today, I had to go out and get groceries. It wouldn't be so bad if my car's battery didn't have so many issues. Will I make it back in time before my online classes? I hope so. I always hated grocery shopping because I always have to budget. I hate budgeting. I grab my purse, digging through the change. $25? Welcome to the broke college life. I knew that $25 wasn't going to be enough to buy everything on my list. I took a deep sigh. Here we go again, I told myself as I grabbed my coat, hat, and shoes, and I was out the door. I thought to myself, hopefully they have a sale, as I made my way to the car. Driving slowly as can be, the snow continued to fall. It was getting hard to see at this point. My wipers were making a weird squeaking noise. It was annoying to the point I wanted to turn back around and go home. But I knew if I didn't go today, I wouldn't be able to get groceries once the snowstorm hits. I thought about what to buy for groceries. Apples, oranges, fruit, and maybe cereal, and bread, and cheese. Healthy foods are more important than junk food. Driving and driving, I felt cold and defeated. I saw the sign, the glimmer of hope. I finally made it to Save On Foods. I walked in, clutching the handles of the shopping cart. Save On Foods was packed. At this point, I wasn't really in the mood to talk with people, as it was cold, and I was already feeling stressed with life. I thought about my college assignments as I saw the other college students scrambling to grab things off their grocery list. I looked at the apples in my hand. Was, it, was this what my life has come to? I used to go out often and eat all the time at restaurants. Now I'm just eating apples. I loaded my items into the cart and made my way to the self-checkout. Waiting in line, waiting and waiting. Crowds of people everywhere. I turned my back to see how long the line is. It's stretching for miles. The lady standing behind me smiles sweetly. I smile back. I turn back around and push my cart towards the next free checkout. I start scanning my items one by one. My mind is now wandering to the idea of having to go outside again. Suddenly, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I look back to see who it was. It was the lady from before who smiled at me. She's standing beside me and smiling. Let me get it, she said sweetly. I took a step back. What? Pay for my groceries? No. I'm an independent college student. I continued to scan my items. No, thank you. I got it. Thank you. I kindly declined. I couldn't let her pay for my groceries. I'd feel guilty because I knew I wouldn't be able to pay her back. But she continued to stand there, waiting for me to finish scanning my items. I couldn't even say anything to her because I knew I had lost at this point. She gently moved me aside and scanned her card. I was shocked. Someone showing me kindness? I couldn't believe it. This never happened to me. I thought I was the most unluckiest person in the world. I thanked her repeatedly. I couldn't believe her kindness. Thank you so much, I said as I grabbed my bags and left towards my car. She smiled at me. It's cold outside, so make sure to bundle up. As she waved by and made her way out the store. Put my scarf on and pushed the cart through the rough snow. As I was walking in the snow towards my car, I saw something shining on my car's handle. It was a note. I put my groceries in the car and sat in the driver's seat. I put the key in the ignition and the car turns on. The warm heat from the vent hits my face. I take a second and take off my gloves. I unfold the note and something falls out. It was a hundred dollar bill. The lady who bought my groceries left me a note and the money. Paid for it to the next person. Stay warm. I couldn't believe what I was reading. Second time it happened? Why? How? I couldn't believe it. Tears fell down my face as I put the hundred dollars into my purse. I knew what I had to do. I had to keep the promise of the lady. So I drove to the Starbucks across the street. She told me to pay for it, and that's what I'll do. I made it to the drive through window. Hi, I'm not ordering anything, but can I drive up to the window? I spoke into the speaker. I knew I had to give the cashier the money. I drove to the window, 
and the young lady greeted me. Can you take this and pay it forward for everyone who comes by today? It's cold, so I'd like to make someone stay. The Starbucks lady looked back at me. Oh my gosh, thank you, the cashier smiled. I drove off and waited in the parking lot to see the people's reactions. One by one, the Starbucks customers' faces lit up. And with that, my winter became warm. <laughs>